Okay, I took a chance on this South Texas grass. It's a hard, see what scared me about it was it's a harder grass to, to pull apart, but it can be pulled apart. It's just, it was just harder and more razor like. Grew in clumps uh, among the trees, nice and green. Uh, I boiled it up, drank the whole pot over the course of, of well, since yesterday and then into this morning, and everything feels fine. I think this is a safe grass. It, it just kind of scared me a little bit because of uh, that mishap of um, drinking the reed, I think a reed that I couldn't actually pull apart by hand. See, when the, when the grass gets tougher to pull apart, I get a little more scared of it. But this, this I could pull apart by hand i didn't need to bring i didn't need scissors if i had to bring scissors there's no way i would i would uh harvest it that's kind of a rule now that i have for uh herbs if i have to cut them i get a little nervous about that i like the nice soft grass but this is good too this actually tastes good it's not only healthy it's good it's like a heart this harder grass is uh a little bit better tasting than the softer grasses and uh, still the brown grass whenever grass browns the brown stuff tastes better to me in general so this grass was a success and I will definitely pick it more in the future if I come across it um, that's about the only herb that I found in the South Texas area and where I'm at right now um, I pass places where I see good spat, good patches, but I mean, like on the side of the road, I, there's a place I, places I just can't like stop at to, to pick. I, I have to like, I limit myself to like parks and, and places maybe where I could walk outside of Walmarts or where it's wherever I park, but. It's not like I could just, ooh, you know, there's a good patch, pull over, find a good parking spot. The parking is limited. <laughs> I can't park in somebody's yard just to go pick some pick some grass. So I I, I just I, I um settled on on this grass in in a park nearby. It just it's different, and that's the thing. I've been finding so much like different kinds of grass over my travels but um you know you know i i expect the grass to be pretty similar uh i'm as far south as i can practically get uh for a variety for the different varieties i, ex I expect to start seeing the same types of grass as i go further back north in the the next uh week or two as i start heading back north i expect to just come across grass i've already hit that I can trust and, and pick like the blue stem and the Indian grass and, and stuff. I don't, I don't really expect any major differences in the structure grass. This has all been like a, a big experiment for me ever since I realized that I could start boiling grass for nutrition. I didn't realize it until I got to South, South Dakota and in, in rapid city, South Dakota, I was looking for herbs and I'm like, Oh, can't find any herbs what how am i gonna you know because i was at the point where i was like okay let's start boiling herbs in the teapot and i'm like well i can't find enough to pack the teapot and then i'm like what well, let's use grass so i was i was easily i easily trusted the grass in rapid city south dakota and the parks along the river it's the kind of grass i knew i could trust but the getting further south it made me nervous, but I, I mean, I gotta say, I picked that one type of grass in North Dakota that got me sick, shut down my my vital organs or something, shut down, making things go black. Uh, there's something in it, uh, but that was the type of that was the type of grass that would cut, which I think this this grass actually feels like it can cut. Uh, yeah, but uh, it pick I can still pick it by hands. That that uh, that other that was like a river grass. See, that's another thing. The grass has to be 
kind of soft, pickable by hand, and also grow up. It has to kind of grow up. I, I trust grass that wants to grow uh, towards the sun. The, the grass that I, I snipped that, that poisoned me didn't really have that capability. I think it was, it was more of like a, a water flow type of grass, and none of that grass really really grew up. This this grass grows up. All right, it stand it could stand in the air by itself. That's the type of grass that I'm more likely to trust as well for the different types of grasses that have been good to me. So, I like I like this. This is a good I'm going to I'll continue I'll, I'm willing to pick it. It's it's like a a deep forest type of grass, so it's not something that you'll find on the road edge. But I, I think I could trust it. 